Hello, I'm Charlie, the editor of the Eco Experts. And I'm Josh, a lead writer here. Today, we're going to be talking about how much electricity a solar panel produces. Josh here is the man with the know-how. So, how do we measure solar energy? We measure solar energy in watts, kilowatts, and kilowatt hours. Right, and what's the difference between watts, kilowatts, and kilowatt hours? So, a kilowatt is a thousand watts. Mm -hmm and a kilowatt hour is a measure of time. So it's a measure of how much energy is used or generated over the space of an app. Right, okay, so if a, if a solar panel, for example, was uh, a two kilowatt solar panel and it was generating electricity for an hour, that would generate two kilowatt hours. Yes, in ideal conditions, absolutely. So how much electricity do solar panels produce in the UK? So a 350 watt panel, which is what you'll typically buy, mm -hmm. will generate 265 kilowatt hours per year. Why not 350 kilowatt hours? Because we don't live in Spain, Charlie. Right, okay, so clearly weather affects how much power a solar panel can produce. Absolutely, the amount of sunlight is the biggest uh, factor when it comes to generating solar energy. Okay, what else affects how, how productive a solar panel can be? So as well as weather, you also have the stuff that gets in the way of your solar panels, mm -hmm. like dirt and debris on the solar panels or trees. Uh, casting their shade. Normally we love trees, obviously. Yeah. The other things that can affect how much solar energy you generate are the angle and direction of your roof. What's the ideal angle? The ideal angle is between 35 and 45 degrees. Okay. Anything from 20 to 50 degrees is fine. So if you have a solar panel that's covered in dirt, 10 degrees, obstructed by trees, yeah. it won't produce anything. Absolutely, especially if it's north facing, because that is the next factor. Okay. South facing is ideal. Yeah. East and west is fine. North is bad. Unless you live in the Southern Hemisphere. Unless you live in the Southern Hemisphere. Readers have written in to point this out in former videos mm -hmm. and we don't want to be too Northern Hemisphere focused. No, if you live in New Zealand, point your solar panels north facing. 100%, yes, towards the equator, always. Probably an obvious question. Do solar panels produce more electricity in the summer? Yes. Kind of. Right. So in the UK, solar panels generate the most electricity between May and July, and the least between November and January, so roughly summer and winter. What about the Southern Hemisphere? <laughs> As you might imagine, yeah. it's reversed. So three bedroom house, let's say their solar panels are a, a decent orientation, no obstructions. How much electricity does the average three bedroom house use? 2,900 kilowatt hours per year. Okay, so if I got 10 solar panels for my three bedroom house, would that cover all of that electricity? You would think so, but no, it would cover about 50% of your electricity. Why just 50%? So during the daytime, a lot of people are outside of the house mm -hmm. and you can only use solar energy while it's being generated, which right. means in the daytime, because the sun doesn't shine at night. Also, it generates more solar energy during summer and people usually can't use all of the power that it generates during that time. And people tend to be out more in the summer? Yes, absolutely, in parks. So, <laughs> so I've got solar panels. I'm not happy with using just 50% of what they generate. How do I get it to 100%? Could I get a solar battery? Would that help? It would definitely help. It would up the level of solar energy that you use to 80%. Okay, why not 100%? Unfortunately, it's impossible for people to use all the solar energy that they generate during summer because batteries have a limited capacity level. Okay, so the only solution, I guess, is just to buy loads of batteries. Yes, and at that point, you're getting uh, decreasing margins of gain. Right. It's not worth it. So based on all of this, do we think it's worth getting solar panels? It is absolutely worth getting solar panels. You will generate enough energy to cut your electricity bills by 50% mm -hmm. from the energy that you use. Yeah. And then the rest of it, you can just sell back to the grid through the Smart Export Guarantee and overall save 64%. And then if I bought solar panels, I'm saving 64% on my bills a year. When am I going to break even? Somewhere between 10 and 15 years. Finally, how do you keep track of your solar panels output? So your solar installer should install a meter along with the solar panels that directly tracks how much energy they produce. And they will almost certainly also have an app that you can use to check on a daily basis. If you're like me, uh, I'm very nerdy. Fantastic. Well, I've been Charlie. I've been Josh. And if you want to learn anything else about solar panels, how much electricity they produce or how much they cost, you can head to our website, theecoexperts.co.uk.